Welcome to Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. If a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000. Six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Happy holidays. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. I think I'm a pretty athletic guy. I run, I work out, and I know a lot of the challenges are mind over matter, and I've been thinking about it a lot and trying to relax myself. Whether I win or lose, it's a good way to, to really find out what I'm made of. People tend to not give me enough credit. And if you see me as relatively skinny and kind of girly, that I'm definitely not. I have a chip on my shoulder that I don't think is going to go away when it comes to competing with someone. I'm a perfectionist in what I do, whether it be construction, modeling, or competing in a baseball game. I want to be on top. I want to be the best. That's just my mindset right now. I'm going to make it to the last day. I consider myself an all-American girl, down-to-earth, grew up in a small town, and grew up with two older brothers, so I think I've grown up with the endurance to be able to handle just about anything. I am a New Orleans firefighter, and the things I deal with every day is dead bodies in buildings, falling ceilings, burning houses. So anything that fear factor puts in my face, it'll just be an everyday part of my life. I am a woman who is very strong-minded and believes that you can do anything you want to do, even though men try to put you down. I am going to win this thing because deep down I'm really aggressive and just angry and really, really competitive. What's up? What's going on? What's up? Hey. <laughs> well, happy holidays and welcome to Christmas Fear Factor style. 110 degrees and dangerous. You six people been brought here from all over the country for one reason. To stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you will move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. Now, since it's our holiday show, we got you guys some presents. We got you guys each a motorized scooter, and it is yours to keep. But first, you have to ride it across a plank that is 60 feet long, 12 inches wide, and over 100 feet in the air. The four contestants to get across the fastest or in the event that you all suck at this, the four that get the furthest before falling will move on to the next round. The other two will be eliminated. If you fall, you do not get to keep the scooter. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Mandy, you are lucky number one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come with me. Grab a scooter. I think Mandy stands a pretty good chance. I mean, she uh, seems pretty tough. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, but you gotta have balance to go across that, not being pretty or tough. <laughs> she could have balance. Yeah. I guess we're about to find out. She's got the buoyancy. I really hope she fails, but keeps some dignity. You know, I hope she looks good doing it. I'm sure she will. Mandy! Hi. How you feeling? Great. What is your main motivation for doing this show? Um, definitely for the money and to prove to my two brothers that I could do it. So. Ah, prove to your two brothers. They underestimate you? Definitely. It's the four fastest people to get through. It's not separated men or women, so you have to be one of the four fastest in order to move on to the next round. Thank good you. luck. 
You're a firefighter? Yeah. Really? Shock y'all, huh? My roommate's a firefighter. Girl or guy? A guy. Okay. Not a but I have girl. a friend that's a girl that's going to be. Yeah, we'll power to him. All right, here she goes. She's going up. Mandy! Mandy! I'm gonna count you down, you're first, you gotta set that bar! Here we go! In three, two, one, go! You got it, girl, come on, girl. far though. Mandy, hey. how was it? You know, I couldn't feel like I could get my balance while I was up there and I was afraid I was going to fall, so I just gunned it and just gave it all I had. Trying you to, to as stay as, as far as you could. Yeah. You knew eventually you were going to fall. Oh yeah, I knew there was no way I was going to Couldn't cross correct it. it. You got to the eighth mark in six seconds. That was pretty good. Hopefully. We'll Hopefully. see. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, good job. Thank we'll you. See if it lasts. All right. Here's Mandy. Cool. Hey. Oh, yeah, they're all clapping for you because you fell. Listen, yeah, like if you got across and you kicked ass, they'd all be like, mm, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you have any advice for Heather? Definitely. Like, there's no way you're going to get across if you just go slow. No way you're going to get your balance up there. All right, Heather, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. You got it, Heather. Take it. All right, it's on me. Come on, girl. Da -da -da -da. Come on, well, come on. All right, Heather, you are number two. How you feeling? I feel good. I feel like I can get it done. You saw what Mandy did. She got eight marks in six yeah. seconds. She did well. Is she you going to be able well. to do better than that? I think so. Now, if you win, what are you going to do with the money? Believe it or not, at this point, I'm going to buy this dog. It's a it's a purebred dog that costs like a couple grand. So. What kind of dog is it? I don't want to say it because then, then everyone will want it. It's one of those kind of dogs. What? I can't tell you. If I tell you, that all these people watching the show are going to know. Well, what kind of dog is it? I'm going to whisper it to you. Go ahead, whisper it to me. Oh, I know what those you know are. You know what it is? Yeah, sure, Beautiful. I know what those are. It's a dog of Argentina. Oh, see? That's <laughs> Listen, it's just a dog. I'm going to be pissed if it falls and I don't get it, man. I want it. <laughs> I want that more than anything. If I don't go home with nothing, I don't go home with that. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Eight marks in six seconds. Right. That's what Mandy did. And you're going to do better than that, right? That's right. Go, Heather. Good luck. <sighs> How's she going to do? No. She no. Do it. Say nay. Nope. What about you, dude? Make sure you get halfway. Halfway? And then tumble. Darlene? I'm thinking she's gonna beat the mark. We'll find out right now. Are you ready, Heather? I'm ready! This is it, you know the mark you have to beat. Try to get all the way across. Do it for the dog. In three, two, one, go! Uh, Any time now. Take a lot of time here. Go! Time now. It's taking a lot of time here. Go! Oh. Whoa. Holy moly, moly. That's good. What happened? I got up there and I was like, wait a minute, maybe I should think about this for a second before I go ahead and just gun it because I'll gun it right off the side of the plank. And I went to do it. Suddenly, I just blanked out. I just went, and I didn't even think, and I couldn't even tell you where I had fallen off. You no dog. Maybe, you, thought, you don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> I'm going to even get past no. the first line. You get to the second one. That's so nice. if a couple people choke and do it less than you yeah. or just panic, that's your mark, and we'll find out if it holds up. Heather, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to even talk about it. Good. I don't want to talk about it. Lane, you're next. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Any advice for him, Heather? Just do it, man. Do, do what I didn't do up there. Put it that way. Grab yourself a scooter, sir. I don't know. What do you think about, um... Lane? Lane. Lane is the first guy, so he's going to set the bar pretty high. I guarantee you that. 
Alright, Lane, this is it. Number three is you. Yep. How you feeling, man? I'm psyched. I want to get this done. I want to get it over. Now, do you have any experience with heights or anything? Uh, well, yeah, actually, um, work, when I'm working construction back home. Ever ride a scooter? <laughs> Not up there. No? You got a chance to watch somebody do it fairly well yep. and somebody do it pretty poorly. Mm -hmm. How do you think you're going to do? I think I'm going to do pretty well. Think so? I got a mark to, you know, to, to hit. If I hit Mandy's mark, uh, I know I'm, gonna, I'm in the clear. But well, so. you want to get all the way across because you want to keep this fine scooter. Damn right. right. Yep. All right, good luck, Lane. All right, man. Now, I see Lane taking it all the way. So I think he's, he's going to get all the way across. I do, too. Because he's construction, man. He, gets, himself, he works construction. The man's up on you know, scaffolding every day. Yeah. Yep. That's the edge. All right, Mandy. Choke. If Lane doesn't get past your mark, you're in automatically. Right. But if he does, he's in automatically. Okay. And we have to wait for somebody else to screw up. No offense. All right, Lane, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to set you up in three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, in your face, you I did it. As I started going, I just could not get my balance on that scooter, and I started going to the right, and I was like, Oh, here I go. I couldn't really adjust myself and get myself straightened out, so I just let myself go, and I had to bail. Good job. Good job. Give it up for Lane, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Lane. <laughs> Lane got to the, the fifth mark in six seconds. Not quite as good as Mandy. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Mandy moves on to the next round. What do you think, Miles? I'm ready. Let's do it. They got a scooter. I'll take this red one in the back. Red one in the back. I would like to see somebody keep their scooter. Yeah. Right now we got three crushed scooters. Let's hope Miles can keep his. Keep the streak alive. <laughs> Drop that sucker. All right, Miles. Yeah. You know what you have to do? What we'll I have to do? What I have to do is get past the fifth mark and you will automatically advance. All right. Fantastic. How do you feel about that? Feel pretty good. All right, you said you played soccer. Mm -hmm. What else do you play? Tennis. Tennis. Water Those skis, snow, things, right? snowboard a little bit, yeah. Snowboard's got to be very similar to this, huh? I'm thinking water skis the most because it's just leaning forward, you know, right. foot forward, so it's going to be kind of the same. Hopefully that'll uh, play into it the best. Okay. You ready? Yep, ready. All right, good luck. Thank you. Try to keep the scooter, will you, man? <laughs> I will. A jinx on those things, man. Everybody's like, oh, man, I'm going to fall too now. That's how I feel. Miles is getting lifted up now. Fall, Miles. Fall. What do you think? He's going to fall to mark number one? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully number he's going to fall mark, mark number one. All right, Miles, you ready? Ready. All you have to do is get past Lane's mark of five lines in six seconds, and you will advance. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh. Ouch. You're not keeping the scooter! The feeling getting past that red mark was a little bit bittersweet because I lost my scooter. You know, I hit my arm a little bit when I was falling down and then I saw my scooter crash to the ground. But, you know, again, I, I was just psyched that I had passed that mark and I was in it. Heather, you are on the bubble. If one person does better than you, that's it. Are you ready, Wayne? I'm ready as ever be. Pick a scooter. Good man. Darlene wants the green one, so she got to take her mojo. That's the one she wanted. <laughs> take that. <laughs> Took your mojo. I knew she didn't have to that little Took secret. Your mo uh, he went right to it. He went right to it. I know. Wish him luck. Good luck, Wayne. All right, Wayne. How you feeling, man? Pretty good. Confident. You going to win this thing? Yep, I'm doing it for the boys. The boys? Yeah. What boys? The boys of the firehouse? Firehouse. Because if you don't, they're going to rag on you, right? I'm telling you, I'm going all the way. Look in the camera, Sam. I'm going all the way. I'm doing this for the boys. All you have to do is get past Lane's mark, which is five lines. You get past five lines, you will automatically advance. Okay, guys. You it. ready? I'm ready. All right, good luck, Wayne. All right. He's a little sexist. Everything out of his mouth has been like, oh, no girls, no girls, girls. We had a lot of sexists on the shows. I don't think Wayne's one of them. He what said did you a hear? few things, I'm sure. Like what? Yeah, he I said buoyancy. What the hell was that? Oh, that was he was talking about thing. Manny's boobs. <laughs> He's what? Just, he's yeah, just, he's like, he has That's just ignorance. Right there. <laughs> they didn't help me balance, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and then I, when we were talking about firefighters, and he's like, is, your, is it a girl or a guy? I said it was a guy, and I said, but I do know a friend that's a girl that's trying to make it on. He goes, like, yeah, all right. All right, Wayne, if you beat five, you automatically advance, and Heather goes home. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Good try! 
I was up there looking at the fifth mark where I had to get to, so I'm thinking I can get past the fifth mark, and I just tumbled to the side. I, 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 didn't, I didn't say I lost my balance. I just went over. It's harder than you think. Lane, congratulations. You're automatically in. Thanks, man. Uh, congratulations. Heather. I know, I know. I'm sorry to get to keep the scooter, and I'm sorry you don't get your dog, but for now, I gotta send you packing. Right, See ya. I definitely wanted to go further than I did. And now, having having done it, I could do a lot better, but I'm not gonna get that chance. Wayne. Good job, Wayne. That's not a good job. Why are you lying? <laughs> Why are you lying? He got to the third mark. The guy's supportive, horrified right supportive. now. Trying to be supportive? Mm -hmm. You're just supportive because he didn't make it all the way across. You know you wanted him to fall. If Darlene gets better than your third mark, which is quite possible she might I do it. You. And that's all she wrote for Wayne. Darlene, please Wait, how you get across and keep this scooter, please. Okay. Please. Okay. If anybody's going to do it, you have the tools to do it. We have a scooter graveyard over there. It's horrible. You ready to do it? Yeah. Grab a scooter. Let's find okay. out. Go get him. Ski. The last scooter. Go get okay. him, Darlene. Good luck, Darlene. All right. So that's the mark. All right. Why are you hoping right now? Just a royal screw up? Just a crazy gust of wind, an act of God? Wow. She could fall before. She could fall, dude. Look at Heather. Look at you. Yeah, really. I'm Come saying, on, really. man. All right, Darlene, are you ready? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like she's ready. <laughs> All you have to do is get past the third mark. Wayne goes home and you advance. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Take care, man. All right. Wayne. Take care, Wayne. All right, see y'all later. <laughs> I got 800 firemen to go home to. That's going to rag the hell out of me when I get back. Oh, you lost on the first day. It's just going to go on and on and on. I can hear it. All right, well, congratulations to you all. You all will move into the next round and be that much closer to $50,000, which buys a lot of holiday presents. Yeah. Even though it's blisteringly hot out today, I hear there's <laughs> snow in the forecast for tomorrow. Uh. So let's get the hell out of here and see what tomorrow's in store for us. <laughs> all right. Come on. more confident today knowing that I did so well yesterday in the stunt. I'm just looking forward to find out what we have to do. I don't know what I'm getting myself into today, but I feel pretty comfortable in it. Today seems like it's gonna be more mind over matter. You know, even though these people might perceive me as the, um, the bitch or the mean one, it's just me. Like, I'm not afraid to say what I think, and it kind of is a way to psych me up. I feel very fortunate to be here today. I'm thinking myself in the finals right now and winning. I'm a competitor, and I'll be a tough one to beat. What's up? Oh, not much. Not much. <laughs> Nothing Hunger. like sitting around the holidays, sitting around the dinner table and enjoying a little feast, right? Right. Right? All right. Well, here is your next stunt. Here's your next stunt. Those are reindeer testicles. 
So <laughs> you will each have to eat between five and ten reindeer testicles. Oh my God. But don't worry, because you're going to get to wash it down with this. This is 100-year-old eggnog. So that's a 100-year-old egg. Yummy. Mm. Mm. If it looks moldy and disgusting, that is because it is. Yum. Oh. Here's how it's going to work. You each have stockings, and inside your stockings are gift boxes. The gift boxes have numbers in them between 5 and 10. You will randomly select a gift box. The number inside will indicate the amount of reindeer testicles you will have to eat. You will also have to drink one glass of the 100-year-old eggnog. We have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Mandy, you are lucky number one. <laughs> okay. Are you hungry? Yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's good, right? Let's get your stocking. Move this out. Pick a box. Ooh. The boxes have numbers 5 through 10 in them. You sure, Mandy? You haven't opened it yet. Oh, Do it. oh it might be a 10. Yes. Oh, oh. What is it? Five. 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 Very, very lucky, Mandy. Good thing you didn't listen to me. Okay, you have 30 seconds for each reindeer testicle, and then you also have an additional one minute for your glass of 100-year-old eggnog. So altogether, that would be three and a half minutes. Time begins when I say go. In three, two, one, go. Juicy? That's good. Watery? Gooey? The membrane's very chewy. It's like a sausage casing, right? You alright? You can do it. Come on, girl. Got it. Man, if you think that's hard, the eggnog's gonna be really hard, so you might wanna start working on that. Got it, Mandy. How you doing, Mandy? You alright? Like a champ. She, wants, she, she just wants to eat those things. Just eat those chestnuts. Come on, down that stuff. That's Come on, man. Big one. Weren't you like Miss Illinois? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can see you now. Okay, man. Just one more. It's a lot of eggnog. Mandy's tough. She's a savage. Look at her. <laughs> All right, that's it. Finish what's in your mouth, and then show it to me. I lick your lips. Time! Yes! Oh, wow! It's disgusting! Your, your teeth are green. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I never thought I would be seeing Miss Illinois <laughs> eat reindeer testicles and drink 100-year-old eggnog. But there you have it. Wow. Merry Christmas. Miles! Yes. Go How you feeling, me. baby? Feel okay. Feel okay? You watched okay. Manny doing it? I did. Pretty Come on, man. If a pretty did. girl can do it, you can do it, right? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get your stocking here. Which one's calling your name, buddy? Mm, good choice. Good choice. I'll take this one. Okay, be a five, be a five, be a five. Five. Five! five. Miles! You people are both very lucky. All right. There you go, Miles. Mm -hmm. And of course, your 100 year old eggnog. Yummy, yummy, yum. Get every last drop in there, baby. I appreciate that. Thing. <laughs> All right, you will have three and a half minutes to consume your reindeer testicles and your glass of 100 year old eggnog. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, the popping sound is the outer membrane breaking. <laughs> Don't sleep on the eggnog, bro. Might have bro. some dairy in it. Lactose intolerant. Yeah. Is he lactose intolerant? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. The eggnog. eggnog clearly has some dairy in it. If you can call it dairy after all the bacteria is eating away. That's a small block there. <sighs> oh, you can smell it over here. Hope it smells as good as it tastes. <laughs> never cease to be amazed at what you freaks eat. <laughs> Here goes the stinky, nasty, 100-year-old eggnog. Oh, he's gonna just down it. Oh, he likes eggnog. Oh. Doing all right, Miles? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, minute and a half left. <clears throat> One more sip, and that's it. <laughs> nice. Time. Good job, Miles. Yikes. How was it? Congratulations, Miles. You just great. joined Mandy in the finals. My stomach's not feeling so good. Really? I feel like they're running around in well, there. Well, you know what? <laughs> we have the patented Fear Factor Chuck Bucket <laughs> always standing by. <laughs> Or she decides to up Don't chuck it like with us though. You know what? That would actually be a very good strategy if you wanted to eliminate Lane and Darlene. If you wanted to, Miles, the, the, the option is also available to you. If you wanted to throw up in front of everybody. Remember, I was nice to you guys. Yeah. Whatever with that. That guy could take $50,000 from you tomorrow. I was nice to you guys. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> Think about this. Ah. Bah. I'll tell you what, I would. Ready, Lane? Bring on the testicles. Okay. <clears throat> Take a box, my friend. What are the odds he gets a five? Not, Not that good. good. Not that good. Not that good right now. Some. Oh, shoot. Ten? He got ten. Ten. Oh. Pull it out. Ten. <laughs> wow. So you will have six minutes to eat ten reindeer testicles and one glass of 100-year-old eggnog. Okay. Sniff it. Get acquainted with it. It is your friend. You have five reindeer singing soprano right now in front of you, my friend. Five of Santa's little helpers. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Set. Go. <laughs> you gotta smell it first. Oh, Why girl. would you smell it? Oh, I don't like that. That's a big one there. Mm hmm. One good one. Is that a good one? This one's you a see. good one. Yeah. That oh. one's a charm. What's the matter? I'm thinking, no worries. Everyone's just higher no worries. and higher. Ooh, he's dipping. Why don't you dip it? See a little dipping sauce. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. I don't know if that's a good technique. I don't know. You never know. That might All be right. the technique. How you doing, Lane? Good. Three more left. The dipping sauce, you could use a little salt, I think. A little salt. <clears throat> We need to develop smell vision for TV because I really don't think the folks at home <laughs> that would be a great effect. Yeah. And it's okay. It's not, I know, it tastes like dead fish. Oh, that was pop. Oh, really? Tastes like what? That was pop. Dead fish. Dead fish. Yeah. The the uh, the eggnog. Eggnog on the other hand. It's the smell, right? We need smell vision. <laughs> scientists out there working on whatever you're working on, drop it right now. Get us some smell vision from Fear Factor because the people at home need to sniff that. All right. You always throw up now. Like I said, bucket's waiting. I don't think it's gonna matter with Lane over there. It might matter with Darlene. Darlene might not be able to handle it. Look at her; she's shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Good. You got it all. <laughs> Time, Lane. Welcome to the finals. Way to go, it's Darlene. Candy. It's down to you. I know. Are you excited? Yeah, I am actually. Do you feel good about this? Um, get that crap the away. Smell, no, I don't want to smell it. You see it? She's hostile already. Ah. You know what? Um, you could throw up if you yeah, like. Yeah, in a puke bucket. Yeah. Okay. Oh. If you like to throw up, it's available for you. Once I puke, it's like a chain reaction. I'll pass it to it's her. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Darlene, you Honestly, ready? Honestly, I don't yeah. want that in my stomach. It's killing my insides. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna get a lot of mints. Fish yourself out a lucky box, Darlene. This one. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. I think that means six. Yes, six. So you will have four minutes to consume six reindeer testicles and one glass of 100 year old eggnog. Are you ready? Uh huh. In three, two, one, go. Mmm. Oh. Darling's tough. She's gonna be fine. Doctor. You feel that puke coming on? Oh no. Dude, you're making me puke. <laughs> Come on, Darlene. She's covering her ears. She's not listening. I'm trying to puke. Yeah, do it. Push it deeper. Come on, you're a model. You should know how to puke. <laughs> Come on, Darlene. Oh, Darlene is in the zone. Open. She's in a happy place. 
Darlene, are you trying to get Darlene sick? Yeah. Come on, Darlene. Ignore him. Suck it down. There you go. Come on. How many got left? One left? <laughs> Wait till you try the eggnog. Ugh. That's where I'm going to yak. That stuff is bad. All right, here she Whoa. goes. Eggnog, eggnog. Oh. 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 Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> she's shaking. Look at her shaking. Oh. 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 have to consume between five and ten reindeer testicles. You also have to drink one glass of the 100-year-old eggnog. I know that Lane had to eat ten, but me eating six, I think I was the strongest one of all because I had to put up with all of those comments and mentally that was a challenge. You got like three more swallows. 25 yeah. seconds. You're fine, darling. You can do it. Last call up, you're in. Congrats. That's it. Kiss my butt. There you go. Damn. Crying and everything. <laughs> you're good. Wow. How much more time do I have to throw up? I think you're good. You're good. Oh, you can throw up if you want. Up. Want to give her hell? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate the holidays. <laughs> Thank you. You guys did a fantastic job. Congratulations to the four of you. You will all make it to the finals. One of you tomorrow is going to walk away with $50,000. Now, let's get out of here and see what tomorrow has in store. Being around the water all the time, surfing, swimming, um, scuba diving, everything. I'm a water girl, so if it's water, I should have an advantage on that, and I hope that I don't disappoint myself. I'm definitely ready for the event. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but um, I'm keeping a pretty clear head, and I think I can tackle it. My main competitive advantage tonight is that my competitors have underestimated me. I think I'll do pretty well at the end. I came this far, and it better not be for nothing. I've got high expectations for myself, and I think I'm going to come out on top tonight. What's up? What up, What's up? Hey. How you guys feeling? Good. Pumped, ready to go. You guys have spent your holidays riding scooters across planks 100 feet in the air, eating reindeer testicles and drinking 100-year-old eggnog. Now today, one of you may walk away with $50,000. Here is your final stunt. You will each have to slip through the hole in the surface into the chilly water. From there, you will swim down through the holes in the second and the third layer to the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, you will grab a candy cane and then resurface back through the holes. If you are too afraid to attempt this stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you fail to resurface through the holes, or if at any point in time the safety divers have to rescue you, you're gone. But if you do succeed, and you do this the fastest, you will walk away with $50,000 today. Now you guys have probably seen this stunt before. We did it during the Playmate Super Bowl halftime show. Well, they really sucked at it. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you will have to show the Playmates how to do it properly, correct? Now we have randomly selected who gets to go first, and Mandy, for the first time in Fear Factor history, <laughs> you are the first person in all three stunts. Wow. You ready to do this? Yes. Come on, let's go. So, yeah. Where's the holes at? You gotta find them when you're down there. You gotta find them, yeah. Tight spaces, drowning, water. How are you feeling? feeling How are you good. feeling? I'm good. good. You don't have your boogie board out there, so surfboard, surfboard over Yeah, get it right. You'd be lost. Hey, as long as there's no sharks not involved. Like <laughs> this is not a stunt I wanted them to bring back. Are you nervous about the fact that you have to go first? No, I'm ready to get over with. <laughs> You've gone first with every time. Yeah. You think that's good? It has Want to hold been yourself? so far, so. Please. Yeah, it has been so far, right? Nobody beat yeah. your time on the scooter. You got the furthest in the scooter. You did fine yesterday. I think you set the bar for everybody yesterday. I think if you didn't do it easily, they would all struggle. 
Manny looking a little nervous. You know what? It sucks being the first. Uh, this is not a good one to go yeah. first because she's gonna. We're gonna be able to see where the holes are. She's not yeah. in the second and third one. Well, we don't, I don't know. Maybe I, you won't know. You can't. I can't yeah. see anything. She's ready. Are you glad yeah. this is a water stunt? The final stunt's a water stunt. No, no, not at all. Would you wish it was? Would you rather eat more? Anything with that. Hundred-year-old eggnog and reindeer you testicles. Know, I think it would have been easier. Really? Is that your biggest fear? Water? Yeah. But oh, you still want to do it? Oh yeah. God, to get into that first hole sounds a little tricky without hitting yourself around it, you know? Hitting your head. You know what? That's the least one I'm worried about. Remember, there's three holes, okay? The rules are you go through this hole, then the second hole, then the bottom hole. You grab the candy cane, you must resurface back through the holes. You can do it, all right? It's all up to you. You ready to do it, Mandy? Yes. All right, it's on me. I'm going to count you down. Relax yourself, get prepared. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. She's moving. Oh, she's got it. She's coming back up. She's having trouble finding the hole. She can't find it. Slip through the hole in the surface into the chilly water. From there, you will swim down through the holes in the second and the third layer to the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, you will grab a candy cane and then resurface back through the holes. All right, she's got it. She's coming back up. She's having trouble finding the hole. She can't find it. There she comes. She's coming. Here she goes. Time. Nice. How are you? All right. You get some water? You okay? You okay? Yeah. You all right? I can't believe I did it. 27 seconds. How are you? That was hard. You get disoriented and you can't find where you're at. Feels like you're like stuck underneath um, just ice and you can't. Right. Like I couldn't find my way out. I just freaked out. It was scary. Okay, we time is 27 Ooh. seconds. Good job. Oh, that's good enough. And let's hope it hangs up. Thanks. All right, Mandy's time is 27 seconds. Mm -hmm. Any advice for the rest of your contestants? Uh, no. no? None? <laughs> There's no advice to give. Okay, well, Mandy's time was 27 seconds. Mm -hmm. Miles? Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, get on with me, bro. Three layers? Just three layers? You couldn't see me like going like this. Like, I couldn't find my way out. No. Yeah. It's like the freakiest thing ever. All right, Miles. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. All right, get in your swimsuit, bro. Go, Miles. You happy about your spot? Uh, it's not bad. I got to see a little bit about your strategy, and then you know, hopefully that will pay off. Would you rather be last? I'd rather be last. Hey, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. I really? bet. Yeah. Are you a little claustrophobic? You are. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you know, when you're, like, Closed underneath something you can't get out. It's just yeah, you're right. that's the scariest feeling ever. All right, bro. Manny's time is 27 seconds, and there's room for improvement. She stumbled around a couple times. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is stay calm, move fast, and it's all you. You ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna count you down. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right, he's moving. He is moving. He's down through the second hole. He's down through the third hole. He's got the cane. He's up to the second hole. Wow, he's flying. Time! Wow! 14 seconds! Yeah! Damn! Outstanding! You blazed! You didn't look like you had any problem with that at all. No, I got a little bit of a slip up grabbing the cane. Other than that. That's gonna be very, very, very hard to beat. 14 seconds. Wow. 14 seconds. Outstanding, dude. Thank you. Outstanding. Thank you. Wow, that was fast. Hmm. Are you gonna beat that? Yeah, I better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You're still in the game. Yep. Miles with 14 Did seconds. You hit your head? No. Which unfortunately, Mandy, means that we have to send you packing. It's very nice meeting you. Thank you, you too. Happy holidays. Okay. Take Good it job, easy. Thank you. Good job, Mandy. Thanks. Bye, guys. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. I'm bummed that I couldn't find the hole and, you know, 
get out and I got disoriented and lost track of where I was. But um, I feel like I gave it 100% and that's about all you can do. You ready to do it? Yep. All right, come with me, bro. All right. I wish him luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, thanks, buddy. Oh, look at that. Sportsmanship. Good. Sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. All right, kid. Mm, that was a really fast time. Yeah. Was there more than one hole, you think? Uh, you don't know. I don't know. I think there's, there's definitely only two holes. Really? I'm assuming. I didn't really have time to just pause. Them. That's true. You good swimmer? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. How often do you swim? Uh, actually, I haven't swam in a while. But when you do swim, you good? Yeah. Well, I hope that holds up. Yeah, I hope so, too. No, you don't. Yeah, you're right, I don't, but... I'm still trying to be sporty. Miles did it fast, did it 14 seconds, mm -hmm. but he did slip when he was grabbing the candy cane. He had to grab it twice, took a swipe at it, mm -hmm. and then he had to grab it again. So there is room for improvement. Even if it's only a second, that second is more than enough for you to win with. I hope Lane chokes. <laughs> hey. Just because of last night, you know, in agreement, you know? In agreement. Yeah. just because of last night, making me... Trying to make you throw up. Trying to make me puke. <sighs> Here we go. In three, two, one... Go. All right, he's moving. He's moving. Second hole, he's moving. Third hole, wow, he's flying. Oh, this is a little disoriented. Second hole, he's got it in his teeth. Time! 15 seconds. Yeah! Oh, he's way. Woo! I figured that if I put it in my mouth, then I'd be able to use both hands to swim, but I think the transition at the bottom, that, that probably did lose a half a second there and got to hand it to Miles, though. He did a good job. Oh, give him my best shot. Yeah, sorry, dude. Sorry. I was waiting to hear 12, 13 seconds, and said 15, and I was, I, was, I was shocked. I was really disappointed. I thought I did better than that. Darlene, it's all yours for the taking. Yeah. It's all you right now. I know. This is it. $50,000. Exactly. You ready to win it? Yeah. Come I'm on. Try it. Come okay. on. Ooh. All right, Darlene, this is it. It's all you. Yours for the taking. Yep. You ready? Yeah. All right, get down to your swimsuit. All Let's right, do it. Right. How often do you swim? Um, a lot. Actually, even like that. Lots Almost of, every day? Uh, um, no. I mean, if I'm not swimming, I'm surfing or paddling. So. But you're in the water how many days out of the week? Oh, like five or six. Really? Seven so it's just, week. to you, it's just an everyday thing. Yeah, I like the water. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Darlene's a tough girl, but I thought laying on that one was my biggest threat, so. I, God, I hope 14 second holds up. You get through this in less than 14 seconds, you're going to win $50,000. Exactly. You know exactly what you have to do, right? Yep. All right, take a deep breath. I'm gonna count you down. You ready? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Okay, here she goes. She goes down one, two. She's got the cane. She's back to the second one. Did she cut? Oh, she's lost. She's lost. Ah, she's lost. Time. 16 seconds. Yes. Bye. Yes, sir. Happy holidays to you, my man. You got past the scooter on the plank. You ate the reindeer testicles and the 100-year-old eggnog. You did this the fastest, and you are the Fear Factor champion. Congratulations, and evidently fear is not Thank a factor you for much. you. Yeah!